Welcome to Village Banking app. In this video, you will learn how to view statements and understand them and how to download them. Before you use the Village Banking app for statements, you need something else. You need two other apps. You need to go to Google Play and the first app you need is some kind of PDF reader. I personally prefer Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can use any one you want, but I find that Adobe Acrobat is the best. The other one you must also install is you are going to need a file manager, some kind of file manager. Get something with at least four stars. The one I use is this one here. It's just fine, but you use whatever one you want. After you have those two apps installed, then we can go to Village Banking. So let me open it. I'm already logged in. I can see at the top that I have a total for all of my accounts, 4,141 Quacha. I have two accounts. I have a simple Lusaka Savers account and a compound McKenny Farmers account. I would like to see the statement for McKenny Farmers. Now, if I go to deposits, let me go to deposits. You can see McKenny Farmers right here, and you could choose between your various accounts, but let's choose McKenny Farmers. You see the three deposits that I made. What you do not see is the interest that I earned. Why don't you see it here? Because you do not deposit interest. You earn interest from the group. So we see the interest when we go to the statement. So let's go back to the home page and let's go to statements. I'm going to tap statements and I can of course go look at simple statements and compound statements. McKinney Farmers is compound. At the very top, you can see the total, 3,641 quacha. Of that total, 641 was the interest that I earned. You can also see that the statement was created on the 16th of November, 2019. And it is a statement for a cycle that was only three months long that required a minimum deposit of 1,000. When I go down through the app and I look at June, I can see the 9th of June, I made a deposit for 1,000 Quacha, which makes my account balance at that time 1,000. If I go to July, you can see on the 20th of July, I made another deposit of 1,000 Quacha. Now take a look at the relationship between June and July. My account balance for June was 1,000. So therefore, with a 10% interest rate, my interest, which comes the very next month, will be 100. So in July, I get 100 Quacha interest for June, and then I make another deposit. And if you add those up, and I'm sorry the little button is in the way, but if you add up the June account balance and then the interest in the next month and the deposit for the next month, my current July balance is now 2,100. If I scroll up, you can see it better. 2,100. Again, because the July account balance is 2100 and the interest is 10%, if I scroll a little more, you can see that in August, I am paid an interest of 210 because that's 10% of 2100 In addition, I made a deposit on the 4th of August of another 1000 When you add 2100 from July, and you add 210, the interest, and then 1,000, which is the deposit for August, you get 3,310 total. But you'll notice we have not yet gotten the interest for August because you always get your interest the next month. So you see where it's written cycle end? Cycle ended is when you have the share out when everyone gets paid. 
we still have to get the interest for the very last month. And because the balance in August was 3310 the interest for August is 331 So you add the account balance for August, 3310 plus the interest paid at the end, 331 and you get the total. Now, of course, August was the last month to save. So therefore, there are no more deposits. So we can see then that the total, and again, I'm sorry, the button's kind of in the way, the total is 3,641, which we see at the very top. And again, of that top, 641 is the total interest we earned in the entire cycle. Okay, so now this is beautiful. This shows very clearly how much I made and how much I expect to be paid, but I want a copy. So this little button that on my phone has kind of been in the way in the lower right, you tap that button and you can see it says your report has been downloaded. All right, so then you say, well, where? Well, let's go back on the phone and let's look around here. When I open this up, if you do not get a file manager, you might not see it. Just to prove a point, just to show, I'm going to downloads and I'm opening it. No downloads. Where's my statement? This is why I told you you need a file manager. Let me go back and let me go to the file manager that I installed. Here it is. I'm going to open the file manager. I'm going to open internal storage. Here I open download. And here I see the statement. I had another statement from earlier. Here's this statement. Notice um, 11, 16, 19. Um, this particular, my phone is in American style. So it goes month, day, year. Yours will go day, month, year. So I'm going to pick the one that I just downloaded. I'm going to open it. Because I have a PDF reader, I can see it right there. And there is my statement showing everything I've talked to you about already. Your PDF reader should allow you now to email this file or upload it to Google Drive. And this is how you use statements in the Village Banking app.